Hi everyone, I'm Dell from Dell's Handheld Games. As you know, if you've been listening to the channel or watching it even, if not, um, welcome for the first time to my channel. Yep, here we're going to take a look at an interesting handheld um, that I've had for a couple of weeks since the last video, the pickups video. Um, it's the Odin Lite. Just the four gig model. We're not really gonna have a proper look at the unit. We're just gonna have a look at some games on it and let that do the talking. Cause I like to do short videos and um, basically it will get too long if I um, spend too much time waffling. So um, let's light things up. I do think these lights are cool on this thing even noticed them at first but yeah excellent right we're going to put it on performance mode you can put it on the high performance and the normal is good for most things um but yeah we'll try performance because we might stretch it a little let's go into the um uh front end dashio i'm not quite sure how you pronounce that there's the PlayStation. Um, got a few systems on here. I'll just show you them. It's quite a good front end, this. Yeah. Do like it. Haven't got too many systems on there yet. And we'll go back to the one we were first on, PlayStation 2. And we'll start off with Virtua Fighter. I've got this on widescreen, you don't have to do that, but I quite like it larger. It's not to everyone's taste. I understand that, but I prefer the larger screen. Sega AM2. Won't have sound too loud in case I get uh, copyright for having music or whatever. This is a good game, a bit overshadowed by the Tekkens and the other Namco, like Soul Calibur and so on, on the PlayStation. But yeah, I did like this franchise back in the day. Is it still going? Probably. One of the well-known characters there. I will do a review of this unit eventually, um, but I thought I'd just show it off. Um, some of the high end, higher end emulation. Um, and you can see it's running quite nicely. I don't really go into technical specs and stuff too much on this channel, so, um, but you can see it's playable. Yeah, I like to think this is a channel for beginners, newcomers, and uh, newbies, and old old pros alike. Yeah, this is a channel for everyone, so this is just, um, well, we'll move on to something else because it's going to be too long otherwise. Um, what shall we try now? I'll tell you what's a good good series that isn't often um often shown um the project zero yeah i think this had a um update for the switch not that long ago um or like a remastered version or something but i um, could be wrong i'm not sure actually if it was this game or the first one or what but Okay, we'll stick to normal. We won't really play intros and things because it's just going to make the video too long. It's a 
a bit dark, of course, like horror games usually are. Oops, it's a bit hard to see where it's supposed to be going. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do a series on this, uh, a look at several games, ones you wouldn't normally see being played and ones that you will see being played. Um, yeah, if you're interested in that kind of thing and handhelds in general, um, Join the channel by subscribing. Yeah, I don't have any membership yet, but um, I'd like to see you as a subscriber. Um, yeah, come watch the videos. Um, got a fairly big back catalogue, well, big to me. Nearly 100 videos now on the channel. So, yeah, go and look at some of the old ones. Um, yeah. This is a really nice handheld actually. Uh, and it just shows that it, it does the job for um, PlayStation 2 emulation and Wii emulation and GameCube. Um, just as good as quite a lot of more expensive devices. Um, or even better than a lot of, old, of other, other devices. Um, certainly RG552 is knocked out of the park by this, which is the last Android handheld I owned before this, or um, th that can't, that struggles to run anything past GameCube really. And we'll just end it with one more. What else is good? Um, got quite a few good games on here, but they're not really the... We'll have a bit of Simpsons Hit and Run. I know this is quite popular with a lot of people. It runs really well, actually. Most of the games that are listed there do run pretty well, just on normal mode, so... Um, I'm not really a big fan of showing off stuff that doesn't really play just to say, oh, it doesn't play. You know, why put the device in a... Um, you know, if you don't know, okay, try it out. But I, I'm not going to, like, download games that aren't, don't run well on purpose just to say, oh, it doesn't run very well. Which I, th I think I've seen, like, people wanting Breath of the Wild downloaded on Steam Deck on the Switch version just to see that it's got problems yeah that's a good idea now um but if you do have any requests of games and you genuinely don't know if they run well or not um i will maybe have a look for you it is a bit hit and miss um i'd say there's a large amount of games that are very playable on the light but yeah you do need um, you need more powerful hardware for certain titles, some of the more um, demanding games, but As I said, this isn't a review or anything. This is just a little look at. I will do more of these videos looking at um, how games run. Um, and um, eventually I aim to sum it up right, at the end and say what I think. But I think you can tell this is quite a nice little handheld for not much money really um it's um well it it first went on sale uh through the um uh crowd 
crowdsourcing. Um, I think it was Kickstarter, perhaps, or Indiegogo or something, um, for about $160. Uh, dollars. Now it's available for uh, about $200. Um, um, well, yeah, I'm not playing this well through the viewfinder, my little excuse. Go to the clicky mark. Sorry for not keeping this in the same place all the time, just I'm holding it and trying to play at the same time. Okay, we'll just go in here and then we'll call it a day. I will be doing more play-ons on other systems like the Steam Deck and showing emulation running on that, which I haven't done yet. A uh, bit slack, I know. Um, I tend to use it mostly as a device for Steam games, to be honest. Um, but um, I will show emulation on that too. Okay. Thanks a lot for staying to the end of this long video for me, my longest so far. Um, like and subscribe if you want. And hopefully, if I haven't bored you to death, I'll see you on the next one.